Good morning, family. Once again, we bless that mighty name of Jesus, for we know him to be the Lord of life, and he is indeed the keeper of our dear souls. Amen. We just thank God for my dear wife, Sister Malone. We, we bless, we're so blessed to be here today. Amen. To the moderator, to Pastor Leo Robertson, Congress President, Pastor Sanford, the entire staff, to all of the pastors and preachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, to the TOMB District Association, we declare that God is still a good God, and he is so worthy to be praised. We thank God that we are able to be a part of the TOMB worship service. Amen. We are indeed grateful for all of our virtual technicians team. We thank God for them. Amen. We know that they have been faithful ever since COVID-19 invaded us. And now we are going to bring our officers around for our devotional service. Amen. I'm so glad trouble don't last always. Oh, I'm so glad trouble don't I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I die. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I die. Yes, I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord until I
verses 1, 2, 3, and 4. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be the sh thou shield and buckler. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father God, creator of all things, we come now to say thank you. Father, we know that in you we live, move, and have our being. Father, we come humbly asking you to forgive us for all our sins. Pray, Father, and ask that you would create in us a clean heart. And please ask that you renew that right spirit within us. Father, we ask that you would bless these, your people. Uh, Father, we know that we need you and we can't make it without you. Father, we ask that you would uh, bless us, Father, right now. Uh, we realize, Father, that we are going through some uncertain times. Uh, realize, Father, that we are going through some unpredictable times. Uh, but we know, Father, that if we just hold on to your unchanging hands, that everything will be all right. And, Father, we come now uh, giving you the praise and the glory. Uh, we know, Father, that uh, you know all about us. And we come now, Father, asking you to keep us in your care. Pray, Father, that your will will be done in our lives today. Uh, Father, we ask that you would just come in right now and, and just have your way in this service. We know, Father, that there are some right now, Father, that's uh, calling on you right now. Uh, Father, we all are leaning and depending on you right now. And we pray, Father, that you would strengthen us right now. Uh, we pray, Father, that your will would be done today. Uh, pray, Father, that uh, you would lead and guide us today. Uh, Father, we are depending on you. And we, Father, ask a special blessing today for the sick and for the shut-in today. Father, we pray a special blessing for the bereaved today. Uh, we ask, Father, that you would continue to have us to look toward the hills which come at all our help. Uh, for we know our help come from you. And we pray that you would come in right now and just bless this service today. Uh, Father, just come in right now. We... We know, Father, that if you come in right now, all will be well. And we thank you today, Father. We thank you for allowing us to come together one more time uh, to praise your holy name. We know, Father, it's not because of, Father, our, our, our lives today that you will bless us to come together. But we know, Father, it's because of your grace and mercy. And we give you the praise today. Father, we ask that you continue to lead and guide us according to your will. These and all blessings we pray and ask in Jesus' name forever. Amen.
his name. God is so good and so worthy to be praised. Once again, we bless that mighty name. We know that he deserves all of our praises. Praise the Lord. We are grateful for our praise team. We thank God for our musicians. They're always on go, ready to bless our family. We just thank God for them. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, once again, we just say thank you. Oh God, we thank you for life. We thank you for health and strength. For we know that you have been mighty good to us. You have been kind. Oh God, we know that you continue to pour out one blessing after another. We understand that we can never repay you for being good. But we come to give you all of the praises. Oh God, we know that you have covered us during this pandemic season. You have kept us, Father God, from COVID-19 and we say thank you. God, we thank you for our many different families. Lord, we thank you most of all for salvation. Oh God, we ask that you continue to cleanse our hearts and regulate our minds. Order our steps in your word. Oh God, we ask that you come in and use us. We surrender to you, Father God, use us in your service for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. Habakkuk, the third chapter. Habakkuk, the third chapter. Habakkuk. Began reading at the 17th verse through the 19th verse. Praise the Lord. Once again, it is good to be in the house of prayer one more time. We understand that we are here not because we are good, but because God is good. And he's not good sometime, but he's good all of the time. Praise the Lord. And it reads, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stall. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hind feet. And he will make me to walk upon my high places. To the chief singer on the string instrument. Praise the Lord. Ponder with me for just a few minutes over the thought of yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Ursus. Amen. It is fair to say that 2020 has been a tough year. For the entire universe. Satan, sin, and COVID-19 serves as giants in the land. And they are determined to steal, kill, and destroy us. In spite of everything that is going on in the world, we need to be thankful and we need to rejoice 
in the Lord. It is a fact that we are in a season when we must be very, very prayerful and we must be very careful. But we must not fret. Why? Because we have a God who cares about us. We have a God who is in love with us and he knows how to take care of his dear children. Amen. As we place our trust, as we place our faith in him, we must do our part. Praise the Lord. The theme of Habakkuk is faith. He has been called the prophet of faith. This book is very important in the relationship to the New Testament. The three great doctoral books of the New Testament are Romans, Galatians, and Hebrews. All three of these books quote from Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2 and 4. The latter part says, but the just shall live by faith. Romans 1 and 17. The latter part says, the just shall live by faith. Galatians 3 and 11, the latter part says, the just shall live by faith. Amen. Hebrews 10 and 38, the first part says, now the just shall live by faith. Praise the Lord. Even though it is a small book, it has the pattern by which we receive our principle, by which we should live by. The name Habakkuk means to embrace, one who embraces another. In other words, it is what God does for his dear children. He takes them into his loving arms and holds them up as one who embraces a weeping child, to quiet that child, to let that child know that everything will soon be better. And I declare to you uh, this morning that God wants us to know that everything will soon be better. Praise the Lord. I don't care what we are going through. If we continue to put our trust in the mighty name of Jesus, everything will soon, soon be better. Praise the Lord. This book was written during a time when God was getting ready to judge Judah. And he was getting ready to judge Judah for idolatry and for turning their back against his will. It is important for us to know that God is a good God. Amen. And he's not good sometimes, but God is a good God. And he is a good God all of the time. But he is also a just God. And he is a God who must judge even his own children. So God is preparing to judge the nation. And he has made a decision to use Babylon as his chastising rod. And the prophet is having problem understanding why God would use a heathen nation. A nation who, amen, is, is worse than they are. That he don't understand why God would, would use such a nation to punish his own people. Amen. We need to understand that we cannot, amen, amen, we cannot determine who God will use, amen, and we cannot determine what God will use to punish us. But we can be thankful and rejoice anyhow. Do I have a witness? Amen, we need to understand that God is in control. And we cannot control how God will punish us 
but we can rejoice anyhow. Is that right? Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Tell God thank you. Amen. He has his own way of getting our attention. Is that right? Amen. And we cannot control God's ways. But we can make a decision to praise him anyhow. Like Job. Amen. This prophet, he argued his case. But in the end, he realized that God is not to be worshipped merely because of material and physical blessing. But he is to be worshipped because he is God. Do I have a witness? He ends his word with a song of thanksgiving to God. Amen. The prophet realized that God was an unchanging God. And instead of fretting, amen, he chose to be thankful. Amen. He chose to rejoice in spite of. And you and I need to rejoice in spite of what we're going through. Do I have a witness? In spite of our sickness, we need to rejoice. In spite of our sadness and all of our troubles, we need to rejoice anyhow. Tell God thank you. Amen. I want to point out three reasons why we should rejoice in the Lord. Number one, verse 17 through Verse 18a, we should rejoice because his sovereignty never changes. The key words in our text are although and yet. The word although is a conjunction word that joins and pulls things together. The word yet brings things that has been pulled together up to this present time. Verse 17, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stall. In other words, God is telling the prophet, I'm getting ready to send some tough times your way. I'm getting ready to send some dark days in your life. Praise the Lord. Habakkuk, amen, got weak when he saw God moving in judgment. God showed him hard times was on the way. There would be no fruit on the tree. There would be no grapes. The livestock would be gone. Amen. Some of you, amen, can be a witness that sometimes things get worse before they get better. But we have to keep on trusting in the mighty name of Jesus. Do I have a witness? But listen at what the prophet says in spite of hard times, in spite of the judgment of God Almighty. Verse 3, yet... I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. I will rejoice in my deliverer. The prophet realized the situation and circumstance that changes. He realized that hard times were on the way. But he made a decision to look away from hard times. And look at a God who never changes. Do I have a witness? Amen. He is a God who never changes. A God that we can depend on in troublesome time. Is that right? Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Tell God thank you. For he is the same yesterday and today and forevermore. We may not always understand what he is doing, but we can always trust him to do what is best. We can always trust him to do what is right. 
Do I have a witness? Shout hallelujah. Tell God thank you. No matter what it looks like. We need to understand that he is the great I am. And he's always in control. And he's always in charge. Yet I will rejoice because his sovereignty never changes. Number two, verse 18b. We should rejoice because his salvation never ceases. Amen. And 18b says, I will joy in God, in the God of my salvation. Even though things may get real tough in life, but they cannot affect our salvation. We need to understand that we are saved. Amen. And no trouble can harm our salvation. No trouble, trials, and tribulation can hurt our salvation. We are as saved as we can ever be. Do I have a witness? We need to understand that salvation does not depend on things going just right. Salvation rests totally upon the grace and power of God Almighty. Do I have a witness? The word salvation applies to more than just our soul. The word also means deliverance and rescue. Amen. We need to believe that God is able to rescue us even from COVID-19. But we have to learn how to just put all of our, put our trust in the mighty name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Tell God thank you. Amen. Number three in verse 19. We should rejoice because, amen, his strength never collapses. Praise ye the Lord. Verse 19, the Lord God is my strength. He is my might. He is my power. And he will make my feet like hinds feet. And he will make me walk upon my high places. A man's strength in this text speaks of ability. Our strength does not lies within us, but it lies within God Almighty. Do I have a witness? A man's hind feet speaks of grace and swiftness. A man's high places speaks of the mountaintop where the deer is free from the trouble found beneath. Do I have a witness? The prophet is telling us that we need to rejoice in the only one who can allow us to rise above our troubles. God is able to take us to higher ground. He knows how to lift us up when we are down. The writer is telling us even though we don't understand everything that happened in our lives. But we need to rejoice anyhow. He's telling us that, amen, the salvation of the Lord knows how to put singing in our spirit. Do I have a witness? Tell God thank you. It is important to understand no matter how tough the road may get, no matter how dark your days may get, you need to learn how to praise him anyhow. We need to learn how to rejoice in the Lord. For I heard the writer say, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Do I have a witness here? We need to rejoice even when we are going through the storm and the rain. We need to rejoice when we're having heartaches and pain. Do I have a witness? For I heard him say, I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. 
How many know that God is able to see you through the storm in the rain? Will you tell somebody, hold on until your change come? He may not come when you want him, but he is on time, God. Do I have a witness here? I heard a writer say, weeping into it for night. But joy come in the morning. I don't care who you are. Hold on, hold on. Wait on your change. Hallelujah. I don't care what you're going through. If you wait on the long, everything gonna be all right. If you wait on the long, Everything going to be all right. The Bible said, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, shall mount up on wing just like an eagle, shall run, not get weary, shall walk and not faint along the way. If you hold on, God will make everything all right. That same man that went out on the cross, hung, bled, and died from the sixth to the ninth hour. That same man that went on the cross, hung, bled, and died for your sin and mine, went in the grave, but early. Sunday morning got out of the grave with all power trusted in his hand with all power trusted in his hand he's real tell somebody he's real God is real God is real yes he is Praise the Lord. We need to rejoice. Rejoice anyhow. I don't care what you're going through. Learn how to praise him. Praise him anyhow. When things are up, praise the Lord. But when things are down, praise the Lord. When things are good, Praise the Lord. But when things are bad, we need to praise the Lord. For the words that we ought to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve him with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that he is. God he has made us we didn't make ourselves we are his people and we are the sheep of his pastor praise the Lord enter into his gate with thanksgiving into his court with praise we need to be thankful and bless his name. For the Lord is good. Do I have a witness? The Lord is good. Tell your neighbor the Lord is good. And his mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations why don't you tell God thank you if you can think of anything to rejoice in the Lord for will you tell God thank you if you can think of any reason to give him praise this far 
Will you shout hallelujah? Tell God thank you. Tell your neighbor, he woke me up early this morning and he started me on my way. I know he been good to me. I know he been good to me. I don't know about you, but he brought me from a mighty long way. God brought me when I couldn't bring myself. Is there anybody here can think of anything to give God some praise for? Will you praise him? Will you praise him? Hadn't God been good to you? Have God been good to you? Have God been good to you? Tell him thank you. Tell God thank you. If you know he's been good to you. Will you join in me when I say he come all the way with me? Don't leave me now. Will y'all help me? Come all the way with me. Oh Lord. alone don't leave me now somebody know what I mean when I say when you're talking about Jesus he's a friend of mine and he been good to you when well, you're talking about Jesus I want you to know he's a friend of mine getting ready to leave you getting ready to leave you but I'm so glad I accept Jesus as my personal Savior. I'm so glad that I came on the Lord's side. So glad that I didn't wait too long and too late. If I were you, I would get in a hurry. Because of you, you may not believe it, but time is not as long as it has been. I'm so glad I can say I got all of my business in Jesus' hand. Do I have a witness? Got all of my business alone. Why don't you help me? Oh Lord! Do I have a witness? Have God been good to you? In Jesus' name. If it wasn't for Jesus, wouldn't have a friend why don't y'all help me praise him if it wasn't for Jesus I want you to know I wouldn't have anybody know him anybody ever tried him 
Let me hear you say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. Tell God thank you. I wouldn't have a friend. been good to me you've been good to me if I didn't know it I would get saved today you may not have a chance anymore all you have to do is believe that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son his son name is Jesus Jesus came down in a sin cursed world, hung, bled, and died for the entire world. But I'm so glad he didn't stay dead. He got up early Sunday morning, got up with all power in his hand. And that same power is available. You can be saved today. No matter where you are, if you trust him as Lord and Savior, you can turn to a family member. You can turn to a friend. You can confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. Right there in your home, you can confess Jesus. You can be saved today. In a church in the district, we'll baptize you. But most important, get saved today. Jesus will save you. Jesus will use you in this service. But you need to be saved. God will save you. God want to save you. Get saved. While the blood is running warm in your vein. Praise the Lord. Choir. Bless us.
said he keeps right on, he keeps right on. Time after time, yes. He woke me up early this morning. And I believe that's a blessing, yeah. Still in my right mind. He keeps right on. Over and over. One nobody but Jesus. He did it, he did it, he did it, yeah. He keeps right on. He provided for me, he protected me, yeah. He's my sustainer whenever I need him, yeah. He's the God of my salvation, yeah. He keeps right on. Over and over. He keeps right on. Time after time, he keeps on. Shepherd said he keeps on. I found him to be a rock, yeah, yeah. I found him to be a comforter, yeah. Can anybody else say that the Lord keeps right on? In spite of all we've done wrong, he keeps right on. He is my father, he's a mother, he keeps right on. Lord keeps right on. He's blessing me. Praise the Lord. He keeps on blessing me over and over and over again. Once again, we just thank God for the Springfield family. Praise the Lord. We thank God for our praise team musician. Once again, our officers. We, got, we thank God for you. Pray that God continue to bless you. We thank God for all of those who are serving in the community during this pandemic time. We pray that you continue to be careful, be safe. And we pray that God continue to cover us from COVID-19. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the TOMB district. We thank God for, once again, our leaders of the district. And we will continue to pray God benediction over and in your life amen once again we are blessed to be in service we pray that god bless you to have a wonderful christmas amen let us pray father god we thank you once again for strength for the journey that we are now on oh god we understand that there's no way we can make it without you we ask that you continue to pour out all of your benedictions in our lives that everything will be well with us keep us in your tender love and care 
Oh God, we rejoice in your holy and divine name because we know that you are so worthy, Father God. Father God, we know that you're worthy of all of our praises. Even when our heels get high, even when our valley get low, Father God, we know that you're worthy. We rejoice in your name because we are still here. We ask, oh God, that you continue to keep us, guide us like only you can do. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Now may the grace of God, the sweet commune of the Holy Spirit, rest root and abide with us until we all meet again. Let the household of faith sing together. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon.